Man, yeah, they, but, they be like, man, you don't want, oh, man, I don't need none of that. None of that extra food. No, no extra bullshit. stuff. George Showman. Sure. You know, <laughs> right. your shoe shot. <laughs> oh, I don't even mind my name, man. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of your Drunk Uncle's Podcast. I'm Chaz Williams, and today we got the world's greatest professional athlete to come out of Gunsburg, Illinois, George Carter. What's up, man? Man, what's up, man? Chilling, chilling. I'm glad you could make it. Thanks for stopping by, chit chat, and have a little bullshit, you know? <laughs> Talking shit. Professional athlete, huh? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. How does now, I'm not up on like how, because I know you're amateur boxer forever. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, how do you make that jump to a professional athlete? Man, there's, there's there's different ways you can really do it. You can uh, prove yourself by, you know, winning tournaments. Uh, of course, as we know, the Rio's going out, uh, making an Olympic team. Right, right. You know, just getting your, your name out there, like, uh, especially around the Chicago area. Um, they, you know, I go up there, or used to go up there winning a lot of fights and everything, tournaments, and people get to know you. Next thing you know, they're like, well, when you're ready to turn professional, you know, give us a holler or, you know, contact this person and... And, you know, stuff like that happens all the time. So is it just a sign under the paper saying, like, you won't do any more amateur fighting? Or? Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's a legal document. You know, you got to sign on that dotted line. Uh, of course, you got to go through physicals and your, your blood work and you know, all that stuff. And, you know, some some states you must have, like, uh, 10, uh, 10 amateur matches before okay, you even okay, turn yeah, pro. Uh, some though. other states, they, I mean, some do, some don't. And I think Illinois is one of them that you got to have a certain amount of amateur fights before you can just be like, oh, I'm going to always sh- struggle to do everything in Illinois, Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. <laughs> it, oh, man, you sh- try to get a license here. <laughs> <laughs> so what uh, what got you into boxing as a youngster? What what made you want to jump into that career? Man, 22 years ago. Made That's me go all the way man. back. Um, No, my dad was a fighter. Uh, Grandpa was a fighter. Uh I was like a family trade. Yeah, it's like on. it was a little family thing. He never, my dad never pushed me in, you know, to doing it. He, he, well, it was kind of crazy. We the first time we were supposed to go to a fight that uh, we had a ticket and everything. He wanted to take me, you know, mm-hmm. you know, father son thing. This fool, you know, <laughs> this fool. We went on the wrong day. We missed it. <laughs> we we missed it. We missed the fight. You know what I'm saying? So my mom knew uh, her girlfriend's son was uh, actually a boxer. Okay. Um, you guys probably even know him, you know, Chris Show. He actually took me down to the first time, and ever since then, you know, I've been in the gym, you know, I've been working. Of course, I did other sports and stuff. Right, but right, yeah. Besides that, you know, I was, you know, boxing from there on out. So it was actually my dad inter- kind of introduced me to to the whole in boxing deal, but Chris, Chris Show was the one that actually took me down. Okay, so you say about, it's been about 22 years? 22 years, man. man. I don't Amateur know what for about it. what? Fifteen of them, sixteen. Ah, uh, no. Um, amateur for what? Uh, uh I think uh, seventeen years. Yeah, 17? seventeen years. Yeah. Man, now made it to the big leagues. What's what was your amateur record? Man, I I can't. I don't even remember, man. I, <laughs> I, it was over a hundred wins, you know. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, Ooh. over a hundred wins. Uh. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, yeah, it was it was it was pretty good. I think I about had a about a hundred and forty. Uh, amateur matches. Be so you was a little over that ten that you needed to get to. Like, yeah, 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 <laughs> for sure. I was, I was in a, the, over that ten bracket like the first, <laughs> first year, second year, something like that. Uh, of course, cool. I probably would have had way more than that, but due to the fact that you know football, baseball, you know, and all you know all the sports. Yeah, you did damn near everything yeah, in high you, school. Yeah, so that cut back from you know t- extra tournaments and extra fights. I would. I would actually right. have. I'm thinking probably maybe 50, 60 at least extra fights I would have had if I didn't do you know the sports maybe even more. Definitely, definitely. What's uh, your pro record? Thirteen two and one. Thirteen two and one. I hate to hear. That. I hate to hear it too, man. <laughs> you hate to hear the two. I hate to hear the it one. Too. The ones you usually don't see a lot of draws, like a football thing. You don't really uh, catch a. Go to somebody's hometown. <laughs> 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 you see a draw <laughs> real quick. <laughs> but you know, I mean. I fight in everybody's backyard, man. Every fight I've had, I haven't been home. You know, I haven't yeah, been in true. Illinois. That's true. We were just talking about that. So you know, Iowa, um, Ohio, uh, Dakota. You know, Nebraska. I mean, 
everywhere I've been, I've been in the backyard. So, well, to me, it's <laughs> yeah. like I'm trying to make their home my home. Right. Like, if I can get the crowd to like me, maybe I might, you know, say I won't get cheated. Sway the judges yeah. over a little something. something. I mean, it happened like that last time, though. He was about an hour away. He was like, man, he, he ain't gonna come up here and win, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, growing up, who was your favorite? Who, who did you? Who'd you get your little style from? Who'd you Man, look I, at? I really don't, I don't think I have a style like nobody. Uh, but if I would go to look at people that I would like like to fight like, it'd probably be like a Winky Wright or like a... Because he, he, he has a good jab and stuff like that. Then, you know, Roy Jones with the hand speed. And then, People um, sleep on Roy Jones. They forget yeah, all about Roy Jones, man. You must have forgot. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying, you got course with Floyd Mayweather man his defense is unbelievable and there's there's a you know I, I like a lot of fighters you know is that's the thing about it I I try to look at every fighter and see what they do good and try to I don't really try to put uh, it in <laughs> I don't try to put it into me you know like you know try to turn out what something I want to do but you know it's like a little learning on on all aspects, you know. You look at them and you try to, oh well, he got good D. What's about so you take a little bit from each yeah, person. Yeah, you like, at least try to. You just try to make yourself better. So when somebody say, well, when you fight George Carter, what do you have to look for? Fight well, for everything. Yeah, everything. He got a good power. He got good speed. You know, he moves well. He boxes. He brawls. Like, so what can you do? You hope not to lose. <laughs> I like that. That's I like that. You gotta say. With um, speaking of Floyd, with him retiring. And, um, you know, UFC stepping in quite a few years ago. Do you feel like boxing's on a decline or, like, a dying sport that, like, people aren't as interested in as they used to be? Or how do you, you see know, the state of boxing? Normally, I'd just be like, boxing's still here. But um, people want to see a gladiator sport. You know, they want to see you in there and beat each other brains out. Um, MMA is that. You know, you, yeah. you go in there, you might kick, you might... Headlock, you might you know <laughs> choke somebody out. You don't you don't never know what you gonna get in there. You <laughs> know, boxing is a little more sweeter of a yeah. science of. Uh, but they don't. They still don't, mind. They still don't. They still don't respect that. Boxing no. is. I think of boxing is a hit and not get hit. That's why people hate Floyd Mayweather. And I said, I tell tons of people like, oh well, Floyd, all he does is, is sissy tap people and run around. No, Floyd Mayweather has seen what the rules of boxing were, and did those rules. And wins every fucking time because those are the rules of boxing. They make millions, <laughs> they hit, millions, not get hit. millions. He goes boxing and then goes out afterwards because he literally doesn't get hit in the face. Yeah, you know what he, you know what <laughs> he he goes out, but you know what? he never been a drinker. No, no. so now it's you too. I didn't want to like pressure you to be like, oh, drunk uncle's podcast. You got to come get drunk with me and all that stuff. No, you're not much of you know. I mean, I want to keep drink, your body. I have you know, I have fun. Um, but I stay in shape, you yeah. know, after right now. Um, right. Soon I get done with here, I'm going to go for a run. Now, that's um, another thing I wanted to talk about. Like, you got, I've seen lately you've gotten into that. And two is that years. Just, two years strong. That's something that you were always kind of doing as boxing and was like, well, I could kind of have a hobby out of it too. No, nah, this past two years I actually got in a run and um, it was a lady from um, work. She's an older, older lady actually. She's maybe about, what, 65, 70 years old. And she was like, uh, I told her like how I was running and stuff, and she was like, well, you normally do seven, eight mile runs. I was like, yeah, you know, at least two, three times a week, I'll go out there and run like that. She's like, have you ever thought about racing? I'm like, nah, I ain't, I ain't trying, to, you know, I ain't trying to do <laughs> yeah, all who's that. Yeah, who's holding it around? Yeah, around. I'm not trying to do all that. She was like, well, um, well, you should try it. We have a, you know, rail, uh, run Galesburg run coming up, mm -hmm. and you should do it, you know. And they had a, of course, they had a uh, one mile fun run, a 5K, the half marathon. 5K is 3.1 miles. That's easy. They say, I get well, tired driving 3.5. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, me, you know, me be, I like a challenge. I was like, you know what? I'll sign up for the half marathon. And it's like, you going for the half marathon? <laughs> what was all involved in that? Yeah. I'm talking about, I've never did a race in my life. I didn't do track or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, I never ran 13 miles in my life. But it was like, I signed up for it. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, no. when I did it, 13 miles. Was that half marathon? 13 miles? 13.1. But now, the only thing bad about Bruh. that is. <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody's, it's so crazy that everybody's like, that was your first race? I was like, yeah. They was like, dude. Like, I mean, it wasn't a extremely good time. Right, right. But, but it was, I mean, it was like an hour and 45 minutes, which was like an eight minute pace, which that was my first one. You know, the one I just did this past year, 
hundred. I mean, a hundred. Uh, hour and I think it was twenty nine minutes. So you see Cut, the cutting it, yeah. you see the jump. I mean, even you know the. Uh, I think that was, that's my second one. That was my second one. So you went from my. I went from an hour forty five down to an hour twenty nine. So that I mean, now the next thing to do is get better at the half marathon or take my levels or limits and do a whole marathon. Man, which is. A little bit different in on um, running and everything. Now, some of these half marathons, I'm gonna train. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, like training. Do you see like the running and the and the uh, you know the marathon and just the casual running? Do you see it helping with your endurance when you are training and when you're like with the whole boxing? Do you, does it? Well, do you I cut have, down weight. What do you What do you fight at? Uh, I fight at a uh, one sixty. Um, I want to go back to uh. Go back to where I was talking about um, boxing in different, you know, states or backyards. Um, every, I can't say, well, the losses and the draws I have uh, actually been at different weights. They've all been at 168. Okay. One dude, the dude from uh, Ohio, he was about uh, 187 pounds and came down. I mean, I don't know how long it took him to get down, but I know the fight before that, he was like 186 I walk around 169. <laughs> so me to make me to make weight wasn't nothing. Yeah, you just like I actually actually we made 160. I think it was the catch weight was like 165. So I had to lose four pounds, five pounds. No, he he heavy I heart. Mean, I yeah, like I don't know four how. Pounds away. Yeah, but <laughs> every fight I had, I actually came close or lost was been a uh, super middleweight. I mean, I can probably make 154. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I walk around 169, 170, uh, and then and then it go back to your the running. Um, the running keeps my weight down, and I actually really became dedicated to the running part of it and doing these races is because uh, I was out for a year and a half with a uh, management problem. Yeah. They wouldn't give me no fights or nothing like that, and most most fighters, if you ain't been fighting for, a, you know, a year and a half... That's that's a long time. You, you gonna, you gonna do other things. You gonna go out and kick it more. You gonna... Drink, party, you know, maybe even have a couple of kids, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Get sidetracked with yeah, you know, other but things. Me, yeah, but me, so definitely. focused, and I know I have the talent to do this, I was like, you know, I have to take up something else. Definitely. So that running was that something else, and now it's like, hey, man, you, you know what I'm saying? You see me or hear me run around town, I put on Facebook, you know, hey. I see you every day, yeah, yeah. Hey, Taking off. You know, <laughs> gone road running. <laughs> That's what's up. BB, I was gonna ask <laughs> about the uh, the management thing. You haven't fought in how long? A year and a half? No, that was be that was before I started doing the whole running run deal. Oh, okay. Um, I just fought um April actually. Yeah. And so I that's when I, I come off. That was the loss that uh I'm still upset about, and I wish we can uh do something about with the whole commission. But unfortunately, the Re- commission's uh-huh. on. Right there at the mm-hmm. fight, and when stuff gets weird, it's weird. You know, there's a lot no of overturning. politics. A yeah, there's no, there's no overturning. You know, baseball, you can overturn a call or something. You know, not, 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 not boxing. Right. You be like, here, get your money, get out, bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, is, is there gonna be a rematch coming with the guy? He, or? he was. I mean, you, I was going up and wait again. I mean, I fight at one sixty. They keep trying to give me these fights at one sixty eight. One matter of fact, I just looked at my. My box record, and it was like, man, they got me put down as a super middleweight. Super middleweight is 168. <laughs> if I jump on a scale right now, you'd be like, this boy is 170. <laughs> Cut two pounds, and we got to fight. Yeah, Let's get it going. That's what I'm saying. Go, okay. yeah. You know, everybody know as boxing, these people drop 15, 20 pounds to make weight class. I had to drop two. <laughs> Sometimes that helps though. You keep you keep a lot of that strength though when you but don't when drop you got, as much. When you got somebody maybe coming down from 180, 185. They got a lot of. They get you. Of course, he didn't get me on the ropes. I, I wish, I wish I can show you guys this fight. If I could, I contacted the guy multiple times. If y'all want to see the fight, I have. I matter of fact, they even have the play, uh, not play by play, by round, round by round of uh, one of the people up there talking about the fight. Uh, it was one there, um, um, news people or something like that. Mm-hmm. So they was keeping track on the fight. And if you read it, and then he, what he says, and he says that wasn't clearly the right decision. <laughs> Dang, you know what I'm saying? That's from him. That's from their own people from there. But guess what? It don't matter because what's in what's that? It, what's what's it, in that record? Yeah, that's so. You know what? <laughs> yeah, I take it and move it on. I know I, <laughs> I know I'm not gonna be a Floyd Mayweather in the field now. <laughs> in the field. <laughs> it is what it is. Is there um anybody in the in the ranks that you've seen that you watch like some of the the 
professional guys that you would like to go up against? That nobody that I would like to go against. Uh, um, I see some talented fighters that I was like, you know, if I get the opportunity, that I would be right there with them, you know, on Showtime or HBO because I'm not just saying this because I believe it, but. I have actually had elite coaches tell me you have all the tools to make it. It's just about the opportunities that you get and it's presented. I mean, just like any any other sport, baseball, football, there's only so many professional athletes that's going to go in there and there's only so many fighters that's going to make that prize money. True. You know, um, but as you, I mean, I like Errol Spencer. Like, he's a monster. He's a left-hander. So I've been, even though he's younger than me, I've been watching a lot of him because a lot of things he do I like I like what he do. He he brawl, he boxes, you know, Terrence Crawford, you know, he should be one of the pound, pound for pound fighters right now. He he goes both ways, but so many things you just watch him do and then I see myself do it. I man, the hand speed of myself. I have a fight on here that uh it in it ends in, in two rounds, but you know, I'll let y'all see when it's I'm done. done. We'll, we'll have some B roll footage and some pictures and everything we'll throw up in between all this stuff. You know, you heard the names? Let's get this together. YouTube, make it happen. We're going to have some fights going on. Gelsberg native, man, it's been awesome. I can sit here and talk about this shit all day. We're going to wrap it up, though. Thanks again for coming, man. Awesome guest. You can catch us on YouTube, SoundCloud, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. We'll throw George's links down below. Yeah, follow everything me, else. man. I'm on everything, Snapchat. Everything. Social media, that way we can get his name out and get these fights going. Thanks again, man. You guys are awesome. Peace.